Alright, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 mini-series of Attack of the Lobotomites, where today we are obviously not where we left off in the last episode, and not where I intended to be either. I was going to head all the way back to Sanctuary, absolutely overloaded in god mode right now with loot, because I figured we'd need materials for what we want to do today. <laughs> my god, I looted everything in that building, pretty much. <laughs> good times, good times. But as I exited the Braintree Mental Hospital or whatever it's called, I saw that, hey, the building exists now. <laughs> so I figured I should start the episode here so you guys could actually see it. I don't know why it's suddenly showing. Literally nothing has changed about my load order or uh, anything like that. And I definitely haven't updated the mod since we first started playing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for some reason, the building's showing now. So nifty. It's just an unassuming stone building here, and still doing that sting every time <laughs> I get close there. Nice. But yeah, not a bad little building. Wonderful. Though actually, before we do leave, was there anything on the roof uh, other uh, than we saw before of value or interest? Because of course before we saw nothing but the loot that was here that we came for. Hey, tinfoil hat! Nice! I'll take it. I didn't see that last time. Wonderful. Alright, so yeah. That's the building. <laughs> I'm actually very pleased that it finally did show up. I, again, I don't know why. I've literally changed and done nothing dissimilar from what we've had for every episode we've done of this so far. But cool. It finally decided to work? Question mark? Oh, well, with that out of the way, and now that you guys have seen the building for yourself, it's time for us to head over to Sanctuary and check out what sort of things we can now do with, uh, you know, some of the things we learned inside with schematics and the like. Now, I did, as we're traveling, I did, out of curiosity, uh, go back to our quick save before we finished everything and uh, decided to boost rather than hijack the signal. And apparently that gave us a Saturnite transponder mine that uh, I guess when you use will teleport in lobotomites. So more lobotomites coming from Big MT. So that's strange. I didn't try the, well, I guess the disable one would literally just disable it, but. <laughs> Which is why I didn't try it. I didn't think we'd get anything from that. But of course, we chose in our playthrough, and thus what is canon for our character, uh, we chose the hijack single. The line, General. Yeah, you Preston, don't care. Don't up. care. Okay, let's store all my junk and see how much <laughs> our weight goes down. Hey, quite a bit. Not enough, though. <laughs> We're going to stay in God mode for today since we're just playing around with stuff. Yeah, I ended up grabbing a lot of... Why do I have a baseball bat? <laughs> I ended up grabbing a lot of these so we could play around with uh, deconstructing them for their materials and the like. Uh, same with a lot of cosmic knives, etc. So yeah, we, we were able to grab a lot. I was pretty happy off cam. I only crashed while looting twice. <laughs> And uh, it seemed to be so mainly got, on huh? armor, but it was occasionally on weapons, too. Also, let's change the time of day since we're just messing around with some things here. And head on over to this side of the settlement, where hopefully Preston isn't going to come and yell at us some more. And why did I do that? No, I meant to go into workshop mode. And first, I, since this is the first time I'm trying to see what we can do with this stuff, I have no idea if we have a new category or, oh god, it's going to be mingled in with the other categories. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping they'd have their own, you know, maybe in special. Nope. <laughs> Alright, so we did get some posters, so let's look for those in decoration, even though we don't have a wall here. Yeah, they'd probably be... Well, those are... Oh, yeah, yeah, we got the Cosmic Knife poster there. You know what? We should build a wall. We should build a wall. <laughs> so we can actually place these things on them. Yeah, just some concrete walls here. Yeah, that'll work. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we'll pop you... Like, right there and there. And in case we have any others, are there. Nifty. All right, so let's go back to the posters and check those out. 
I'm actually curious, since we saw that they were in the posters, I wonder if any new in painting. Probably not, but I figured, what the heck, let's check it out, just in case. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything new, or at least that I... I mean, a lot of these paintings I don't recognize. But, yeah, I think the only way I think we're going to have it is with the posters here, which makes sense, since it was posters that we got. But alright, there we go, we got the Cosmic Knife poster. Lovely. Then a pristine one. Ooh, fancy. Donkey Brains Diploma? I'm pretty confident that's from this. <laughs> what? Alright, then we have a framed one of these. Uh, looks like we have another one that's pristine. Oh my god, a metal frame? Oh boy, we have a lot more than I anticipated here with these. Another one. You, and then you. This poster, it looks like the rest of the posters are to the normal things that we usually have. Alright, 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 that makes sense. Nifty, I am wanting to still check though, just in case. God, there are so many posters, I forget. I forget at sometimes how what all's in here because I don't, I don't do a lot with settlements. <laughs> Okay, I think I think we're good. I think we're good. We're repeating them now. They're just in different frames at this point. All right, so there we go. We got a number of different cosmic knife ones. Honestly, I think this one's my personal favorite just because it kind of blends in since it's old and shabby. But out of the framed ones, I like this one the best because it's still old and shabby and with a uh, still a pretty low. What am I going for here? It's not as bulky of a frame. Low profile, that's what I was trying to go for. I was thinking to myself, low something. <laughs> yeah, I think I like that one. But neat, a lot of Cosmic Knife posters. Sadly, none with the crayon scribbling. Yeah, it doesn't look like we got anything new for signs. I would assume it would have been at the front. But still, just quickly go through. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, definitely not going to be anything in lettering. Or the miscellaneous here from the looks of things. Uh, I doubt there's going to be any mounted creatures, though it would be hilarious if there was a mounted <laughs> lobotomite. <laughs> you know, my ghoul heads mounted already is weird enough. Why, 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 why would you want that? But yeah, it looks like everything is just the normal stuff. And do we have no, sadly, no big MT flag? That would actually be pretty hilarious. Not gonna be floor decorations, nothing in vault, nuka world, miscellaneous. Oh, yep, yep, we got hearts and jars and stuff. Oh my. Okay, so yeah, we can build a pace sprinter synthetic heart and jar. And then a cranial telecoil in a jar. And then a Saturnite injected spinal replacement in a jar. And it looks like that's it. Then it goes into all the other normal stuff here. Oh, never mind. We got lobotomite heads. <laughs> Multiple different lobotomite heads in jars. Good thing I did decide to continue going down the line. That's just creepy. Anything else? Uh, not looking like it. Just crates. Hmm. Yep, sadly not looking like anything else here. Oh, hey, more flags. Well, flagpoles. Alright, so that seems to be it for decoration. I sincerely doubt there's anything in power. I don't even know what it would. Never mind, I stand corrected. <laughs> Satellite solar panel for the floor. Oh, well, that's cool. I mean, I don't think I ever found that blueprint, considering it's a locked, ranked perk there. But unfortunately, that doesn't... Oh, well, unfortunately for the mod, that doesn't matter. Fortunately for me, I'm in god mode. And then we have a wall one. Oh, those are cool. I really like those. I've always kind of thought it was weird that we didn't have solar panels in this game, even though we have solar panels in-universe. They are a known thing. It always saddened me we didn't have that for power. Well, I'm glad I came in here. I didn't think there would be anything, but that is cool. I like that. I mean, I sincerely doubt there's anything with switches or anything of that variety, but still, we were proven wrong with the uh, satellite there. The satellite solar panels. 
Yeah, definitely not with the connectors. That makes sense. <laughs> Any fun lights? Floor lantern? No. Again, kind of hoping for maybe a glowing uh, lobotomite head in a jar. That'd be funny. But no, these all look the same. Seeing nothing but... Oh, I forget you exist. <laughs> and street lights and stuff. All right, yeah, you're all you're all normal, I think. I don't remember these fluorescent lights, but that's probably just because, as usual, I don't remember a lot of things from the build mode because I never use it. All right, yeah, it doesn't look like anything new here. Neon sign? No, that's just all. Wait, hold on. There is the miscellaneous stuff, or just sign signs. Just the open. Never mind. No, not gonna be logic gates manufacturing, maybe. No, that, yeah, it doesn't make sense that we would have anything here. Miscellaneous, no, that's all the usual stuff. All right, and finally, marquee, but that's just, yeah, that's, yeah, there's not going to be anything in here. I'm really jazzed about those solar panels, though. Those are great. Don't think we'd have anything in defense, but again, let's just double check. Yup, nothing. Ooh, never mind. We do have the ANM64 bomb trap here. Lovely. Need demolition expert for that normally, but of course, god mode. Heck yeah. Trap door. Radiation emitter. No, the rest look normal and fine. They look like the typical stuff. Oh, but I like that we have that. That is pretty cool. Neat. I fell for a few of those. <laughs> All right, resources. Yeah, no, definitely nothing for water. I sincerely doubt for food, too. Yeah. But in miscellaneous, may... Yup, that's what I was kind of hoping for. There we go. We got a mega wolfenite crystal lamp. And then a just gigantic crystal. You know, I'm going to start, since it's pretty big, we'll pop it over here. Oh, wait, what is that? It has a little antenna. It has a little antenna. Nifty. All right, a different crit. Wait, hold on. Huh? Oh, because they're supposed to grow, I think. Okay, okay, I was wondering why it got smaller all of a sudden. I think it's because they are actually supposed to grow, since they are resources. Oh, now that's, that's fun. I was wondering if it would have something like that from this, but it looks like nothing else. So, yeah, my assumption is, is that these will actually start growing over time and collect, since they are resources. They'll start collecting wolfenite for us. Doubtful on... I don't, yeah, I didn't, why would... There wouldn't be stores. There wouldn't be stores. Plus, they're all the same things here. Yeah, no, we're good on those. Crafting, though, we've got to have some stuff in here, right? pay a little bit more attention as we're going through because I do have some mods that are installing some other things, but heck yeah. Saturnite crafting. Here we go. That's one of the things we'll be messing with in a bit. Although we got the Saturnite forge. Heck yeah. We'll pop it like this way there. Sure. Weapon workbench. Weapon workbench. Nuka mixers. Okay, so that's just the two. Wait, hold on. Shouldn't there be... That terminal for the... Uh... I guess that did... Hmm. We saw that terminal last episode that talked that had something in the name about, the, you know, for the proton axis. But when we clicked into it, of course, it had no UI. It just had that holotape to eject that we got some lore from. So I guess there isn't actually a corresponding bench for that, but I guess fair enough. Yeah, we're not going to see any cages. Yeah, it's the same old, same old there. But check the miscellaneous. Nope. I mean, I doubt there'll be any raider stuff, considering this is all Nuka World. But still, a viable thing to check, just in case. Who knows what they might have ended up with some of the things. Nah, it's all the usual stuff. Did I miss a category? I mean, I can... Hmm. There's too many different structure categories to go through, and I don't think there'd be anything in here with this anyways. Well, at least check miscellaneous, though. Nope, nothing there. 
furniture, perhaps? Some lovely tints. Magnificent. <laughs> I'm pretty sure those are from one of my mods. Yeah, nothing in chairs. Kind of figured that there wouldn't be anything with these, but might as well give it a once over just in case. So we did find some things I wasn't expecting, like the Wolf Knight lamps. But yeah, it's not looking like we're getting anything there. Ooh, though possibly in containers, we might find one of those uh, big MT craters. Craters? Containers. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I am not seeing it, though. That is unfortunate. It might still be in miscellaneous, perhaps. Okay, okay. Yeah, I really wish they would have had a just a category <laughs> of their own in here, like some mods do add in. But I guess considering you can seem to get different things depending on what you unlock and what you do in the mod, that perhaps I guess that makes sense. Though that being said, I'm sure I missed some things. Aw, it's looking like we're not gonna get the big MT crate though. Unless it's at the very end here. Nope, nothing. Aw, man. I was really hoping for one of those. That would have been fun. All right, well, that seems to be everything for that. Considering these are supposed to actually have a person. Oh, they also need to be hooked to power. All right, how do I hook you to power? Hold on a moment. Okay, so it needs pa Oh, it's going to need one of those... Okay, okay, let's actually do this real quick, because I would like to see those things grow. We're going to need one of those um, conduits that... Oh, God, what are they called? The one that just... There it is, power radiator. That's what I was looking for. All right, so we'll pop you there. And then a thing there. And then... Boop. Really? <laughs> Guess that head's in the way, maybe? Oh, I can I can only I can't actually move it now. I can only scrap. Ah, it'll be enough. Well, no, I need a little bit more power, don't I? Okay, scrap that additional head. There we go. <laughs> all right, so those should be getting yeah, those should all be getting power. They need a person. Oh god, you, madam, <laughs> you're assigned to something. I don't remember what those are. Just uh, go to this one. Okay. There we go. They are now assigned to the Mega Wolfenite. Looks like we would actually need... I was curious if it might be like the farm stuff where one person can take care of multiples. That does not appear to be the case. One person on this one Mega Wolfenite thing. But I'm curious if even without the power, if these will grow. Or if they need the person. Nifty, though. Nifty. Yeah, I really like these solar panels. Honestly, outside just the fun dungeon, I think this is my favorite part of this whole thing. <laughs> these are great I love them I mean the heads are cool for decoration and all and I do like that cosmic knife poster but let's check out oh boy that is a lot isn't it <laughs> let's check out this oh god where do I actually interact oh here we go all right so we're gonna smelt some things yeah let's smelt those knives we'll keep Oh, well, there went that lance, too. It keeps resetting. I have to, like, go from one to another. Weird. All right. I love you. Uh, don't have any of that. Actually, I do, but I don't have blacksmithing, too. Ah, yes. I always forget that that sort of stuff doesn't... When you're in god mode, it doesn't work in the... Um, in these things, in your actual crafting tables. Which I always found annoying. Come on now, I'm in god mode. Alright, well. Simple solution to this. Let's add some blacksmithing. So, player.modav experience. And let's give us like 10,000. Yeah, I'll be fine. That'll be a couple of levels. Now level 64. Wow, that only gave me two points. Well, hey, that's what I need. So <laughs> Perfect. Oh, there's blacksmithing. All right. Wonderful. All right, back over here to this side. Weird that we sit on that trash can, but okay, we can now do more things. 
Oh, I guess I never found you. Oh, wait, no, I do. You don't have a lock thing, but I don't have one of those superheated cosmic knives. All right, so I don't have you, but I can do this. L uh, nope. Oh, God, so many cosmic knives. Saturnite fist. Cosmic knife. Oh, my God. Yeah, I did loot a lot of cosmic knives, didn't I? <laughs> Magnificent. Yeah, it's... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, there we go. It's weird that I got to go back and forth between them. It, like, resets itself. I'll leave one. There we go. Anything other else? Ah, uh, so I apparently picked up two Sad Knight Super Sledges. You know, I'm pretty sure I picked up a Lamenter's Bell or two, but I guess they're they're modified, so maybe they're not getting picked up. Interesting. All right, so we should have uh, some extra Saturnite now, so let's go take a look at the Saturnite crafting. Plus, I looted a lot of Mega Wolfenite too, so we should be good. I don't remember what this looked like earlier, so I don't know if it's growing yet. <laughs> All right, so the lobotomite armor, we can make a few things. I actually got a few pieces of it that we'll also try wearing, too. But yeah, we already kind of took a look at these briefly, and I don't really care to make any of them. I'm more intrigued about... Wow, we actually got a good a lot of materials for a lot of these things. Oh, we can make more of the hearts in a jar, just like what we could make with the, um, in build mode. Nifty. Just these would just be other objects we could place in the world. All right, fun. Oh, we actually have an empty jar. I didn't see that in the build mode. Nice. <laughs> I find it amusing that it's called Cook. <laughs> our, our interact at the bottom is Cook. Yes, Cook that br a synthetic heart in a jar. All right, so it's... Oh, yeah, yeah, let's build, like, a straight-up normal proton axe. Ooh, which, yeah, apparently we need... I did pick up all those mods from uh, the scientist lady at the end. Thankfully, they didn't crash anything, and I'm assuming that's what those all are, since we only have one of each of them. We do have the proton axe blueprint, so we can actually do this and have a proper one. Wow, why is that so big? <laughs> there we go. We've made a proton axe, though. So that's nice. We already have one of you. I got one of you. You know what? Why not? We have that knife. Might as well make something out of it. Wait, and we have another way of making a proton axe? Oh! Oh, I was wondering about the broken proton axes, if we could do something with them. And yeah, now that I do have the proton axe blueprint, so long as I have these other things, these other materials, I can make another. Oh, nifty! I don't need to, though, so meh. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Also, uh-oh. Uh uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> the, uh, the cosmic, uh, uh, the cosmic knife superheater that I made is currently broken and overlaid right now, so I actually can't, I can't exit out of this. Uh-oh. <laughs> I've had this problem before, and I don't remember how I got out of it. Boy, I... Hmm. Hmm. This is unfortunate, because there were still more things I need to do. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, crap. When... Oh, we had an autosave when I... We had an autosave when I put it the points into blacksmithing, which means there are a few things I'll have to redo if I have to force quit out. Oh no. I mean... Just hoping maybe that would reset it. Nope. Nope. We're boned. We're boned. <laughs> Oh, God. I don't remember the names of... I'm curious if I could just COC my way out. But I'm not remember. Is Sanctuary... Is Sanctuary just called Sanctuary? Or is there, like, a Sanctuary... Some of them are, like, zero one. Well, it took, but it didn't teleport me. 
I should have known. I should have known. Okay, okay. I think I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to force quit out of the game and come back because I do want to look at the modifications for some of these weapons that we just have. So we are getting close to the 30 minute mark already, unfortunately. But I can't get out of this overlying since this overlying thing. Yeah, that cosmic knife superheater one. You know, popped in like a legendary weapon, and now it's it's over top of uh, the workbench, and I cannot get out. So yeah, I'm gonna have to force quit, unfortunately, since I can't I can't think of any way else to get out of this thing. You know, worth a try. I don't know what this will do while on a workbench. Nothing. <laughs> what about no clip? No. Yeah, I kind of figured. I kind of figured that was gonna be the case, but. <laughs> It was worth a try. It was worth a try. All right, I'll force quick out and bring you guys back here in a moment. <laughs> Dang. All right, see you in a sec. Okay, and we are back, and sadly, it looks like we're not going to be able to make that um, superheated cosmic knife again because that, once more, when I made it, locked me into the UI here. So... <laughs> So, sadly, I'm not going to be able to play around with you, though, that being said, no, I don't think I have one in my inventory, do I? Because we didn't see one to, uh, to loot, for, or not loot, but to dismantle from in here. But still, let's go take a look at some of these weapons, uh, if, just for a quick moment. And mainly, I'm interested in the Proton Axe, now that we have built one of those. And, wow, two, holy crap, 240? I mean, I'm not a fan of melee, but dang, that's impressive, especially compared to the broken ones, which were, uh, you know, 70. I mean, some of them a little bit better. This one, it's 74. <laughs> wow, that's actually pretty impressive on that. Jeez. Okay, well, that's fun. Do have some of those power fists too, so let's just take a quick look over at the weapon workbench to take a look at what all these have. Also, you know, I guess I should put on some of the um, some of the armor I have. You know, we do have those masks, but let's put on some of this heavy lamenter stuff. Lamenter's bell, sure. Oh my god, don't you know? No, <laughs> it takes up a part of our, uh, you know, a lightweight one. No, no, still takes up the pit boy there. Okay, more of the lobotomite makeshift armor there. I'm I'm worried about putting on the wolf knight crown since this one has made me crash the game twice. Uh, tinfoil hat, sure, sure. What do we look like right now? Horrifyingly weird. I guess I didn't pick up any of their. Uh, hold on a moment. We can make some. <laughs> I was about to say, we didn't pick up any of their jumps. Oh, we don't have a mechanic jumpsuit. I didn't pick up any of their, uh, you know, dressing gowns or anything like that. It's, I could have sworn I had a Lamenter's chess piece, though. I'll have to take a look at them there again for... Well, why not? We'll make it. And surgical gown, sure. Would have preferred the loose straitjacket, but it looks like we didn't have the things for that. <laughs> Start back up here, though, real quick. Yeah, I got those weird gloves. <laughs> All right, we'll just take off those. Oh, yeah, I, I found one of these when I was looting the place. Apparently, there are specific crowns or crayons that could just go into your mouth. <laughs> sure, why not? All right, we got you, we got you. Oh, I won't use the Heavy Lamenter's helm. I kind of like our um, hat. Uh, do we already have a right leg? Yeah, we got leg. We need arm. Which I don't have. Where is... There's this torn surgical gown. Horrifying. <laughs> oh my god, look at the crayon in our mouth. Oh, that's just... Weird. All right, let's go over to the workbenches here just to take a look at the modifications for them. <laughs> also, actually, let's get that to axe out. That thing is pretty neat. Again, I don't, I don't care for melee, but sweet. I was about to say, where's the particle effect for the actual blade? There it is. It just took a moment. 
All right, so quickly on the armor stuff, let's avoid all my marine things. We do have, we can add a ballistic weave to those. Pretty standard weapon enchant, or not enchantments, weapon or uh, armor mods, it looks like for those. The look. Oh, we can get like different alloyed or polished. Oh, that's nifty. Uh, same with those, pretty typical upgrades. Yeah, pretty typical upgrades from the looks of those things. Mostly weave, slight changes to armor. Sadly, it looks like I can't change the crayon in mouth. Oh, no modification for that, really? Sad. <laughs> Wait, can we, oh, we can actually turn it into a non-torn surgical gown here. A bit stained, but still wearable. I can't remember the last <laughs> time I had clean fingers. All right, all right, so that's that. Let's take a look at uh, the weapons. Don't take offense to Marcy. Uh, we've already taken a look at the cosmic knife. Shut up back there. Don't care. I already take a look at the cosmic knives a while back, but let's take a look at our. Well, let's actually start with the the uh, Saturnite fist here. So puncturing, heating coil, and superheating. So you know nothing too dissimilar from the Please normal just, fist. I need to be alone. Super. Right now. Shut up. Then move. I'm the one who's working. <laughs> Super to coil, stun pack, fun, all right. And the axe. Okay, so we got a diffusing blade or a warping blade, but we, we'd need hacker for that. That's kind of fun. Positive polarity polarizers or reverse. Verb polarity makes beams purple, includes increased energy damage, decreased physical damage. Interesting. Got some decorations. Oh, they're on the back side. Okay, I see them now. Sure, why not? Let's add some crow feathers. <laughs> the batteries... Looks unstable. More adequate power source. Heavy. A dangerous, powerful uh, power source. Extremely experimental. Very he heavy. Neat. Sure, why not? <laughs> I uh, got nothing I can do with the housing, but increased attack damage there. Change the grip to a short grip. Ooh, that drastically lowers the damage. Dang. All right. And the terminal. Oh, I don't have what I need for the functional terminal. Oh, no. We have a barely functional one, though. I guess we can add. But what is that do i know we have those tapes but how would we even add those in i kind of figured yeah i can actually see the terminal functioning now i couldn't see that before but i have no idea how we would use it let's go back in here maybe now that we've installed it nope hmm you know let's actually take a look at them oh okay so yeah you need these so then it'll have a functional hollow tape slot okay so this just is the base these will actually give you slots for the hollow tapes you can have up to two. Oh, that's cool again though you'll need things we don't have like hacker four but fun all right well i'm pretty good with all that now <laughs> <laughs> you ain't been up to see great So yeah, that's gonna be it then for uh, this lovely mod. Attack of the Lobotomites has been quite fun. It was an entertaining little dungeon. A lower level than I thought it was going to be with the enemies, but still entertaining. And we unlocked ourselves a number of fun things. And there does seem to be other bits you can unlock. Like I said, I was able to unlock when I tried the hijack or the uh, boost rather than hijack. I unlocked the Lobotomite Mine, which was intriguing. Uh, but still, nonetheless, what we do get is pretty cool. I like all the posters. I especially love these solar panels. Am I sure that that's not from another mod? <laughs> With my luck, it is. Oh, hold on a moment. Let's actually just go back in here real quick to that. Did it require anything? I mean, I assume it is because it's satellite power. But no, it doesn't need any, like, Wolfenite or anything. I'm going to assume it is, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I got some other cool decorations, though. I like that we can produce some Wolfenite now. Uh, let me actually check in here, though. Let's look down at 
Oh god, we gotta go a long way, don't we, to the M's for Mega Wolfenite. Oh jeez, I have to wait too many things in here. So much in storage, but I wanna, I'm want i curious if it's collected any yet. Hold on, hold on. Crap, I don't remember. <laughs> I, know, I, I know, I actually checked it uh, before I started the episode how much Mega Wolfenite I had because I was hoping we'd have a thing to grow it because I remembered, you know, what we unlocked last time. But I knew it was, all I remember now is that it was in the 20s. Hmm. I'm gonna guess no, though, because it doesn't look like it's a full crystal yet. It probably... You know what? Let's wait a day real quick before I do end. Where's a seat or something? You know uh, hey, hey, vault Tech Rep. Long time no see, buddy. I'm feeling swell. Boy, that Look dress, that gown we're wearing. <laughs> Don't care, buddy. Don't care. Yeah, let's wait for a day before we do in. Just out of curiosity here. There we go. But yeah, I'm very pleased with how it all went. It was a fun little dungeon. It was some cool lore. I'm very pleased that we did eventually get all the questions I had answered about how in the hell little Bottomites got there. Uh, and we got some really cool build items out of it. Including some pretty interesting new weapons. I think the Proton Axe is definitely the coolest of them all. High damage and the ability to put in those hollow tapes once you got Hacker 4. I just will never use it because I don't like melee. But all in all, a very fun mod with a lot of nifty things that I'm very pleased about. So yeah, once we check the Mega Wolf Knight Crystal there to see if it's grown after a full day, that'll be it. So there we go. I didn't uh, defend Abernathy or uh, apparently Sunshine Tidings defended themselves good. Oh, it hasn't grown. Well, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> you know, you know. I, I mean, I can't think of another way to check that real quick. The only other way I could think is to go into build mode and look for one of the things that required Wolfenite, but I don't. I don't remember exactly where they were, so we'll just scroll down. We'll just scroll down. We're almost to the M's. And still at 28. Okay, so that's probably, like, super slow, I would say. Dang, though. Still nice that we have the ability for it to grow. So that is cool. But hopefully you all have enjoyed this little mini-series, and you do come back for whatever one we do next. Currently, I have no idea what that'll be. Uh, but, yeah, hopefully you have had fun with the Lobotomites as I have and come back for whatever it is we do next. But until that time, thank you for watching. As always, we'll have a good one.